Greetings and welcome to This Week on Channel 9. I hope you enjoyed the Sunday night movie, The Cider House Rules. On Monday, Wednesday and Friday at 9.45, the RVM Recreation Wellness Program will sponsor a 25-minute fitness program on Channel 9. On Monday at 1 o'clock, this program will be shown on Channel 9. Then at 7 o'clock on Monday, you can see Clueless on Channel 9 if you missed it Saturday evening in the auditorium. The afternoon seminar, The Fundamentals of Photography, has concluded. We will be starting a new afternoon seminar, Classics of Russian Literature, with Professor Erwin Wheel on September 3rd. You can find a very interesting 69-minute interview with Professor Wheel by going to YouTube, clicking on search, and entering Erwin Wheel on Dostoevsky. The arts movie at 7 o'clock on Tuesday this week will be The Man Who Would Be King. Legendary director John Huston adapts Rudyard Kepling's short story about Daniel Dravat, played by Sean Connery, and Peachy Carnahan, played by Michael Caine, two bored British soldiers stationed in India who traveled to a mountainous Middle Eastern kingdom in search of riches and power. Embarking on the adventure of a lifetime, they con their way into becoming deities in Kafiristan before losing it all. The film earned four Oscar nominations. At 7 o'clock on Wednesday and at 7 o'clock on Thursday, the RVM special program in Channel 9 will be the RVM Board of Directors Report recorded in the auditorium on July 15th. The Saturday night movie in the auditorium will be Trouble with the Curve. Slowed by age and failing eyesight, crack baseball scout, Cross Lobel, played by Clint Eastwood, takes his grown daughter, played by Amy Adams, along as he checks out the final prospect of his career. Along the way, the two renew their bond and she catches the eye of a young player turned scout, played by Justin Timberlake. And finally, the Saturday night movie at 6.30 on Channel 9 will be Il Postino, The Postman. Mario Rupolo, the mailman on an Italian island, pines from afar for a beautiful waitress. But when exiled Chilean poet Pablo Neruda comes to live on the island, Rupolo delivers Neruda's mail and picks up lessons on love, life, and poetry. I am always amazed at the lovely floral displays facing the elevators on the main floor of the manor, created by members of the Flower Committee. Again, we will conclude this program with a slideshow of these displays.